Guys, this Jonathan Major story is getting intense. More and more stuff is dropping, and honestly, I have no idea who to believe. The only thing I do know is that Disney is... Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. And yes, actor Jonathan Majors, if you're unfamiliar with him, has become the new face of the MCU. He's their big new villain. And they've like quadruple hundred thousandth double down because he plays Kang, a character that has multiplied across all universes. They have so doubled down on this actor. They also bought his new Sundance hit, hoping he was going to win the Oscar this year. They have so many projects in bed with this guy. Loki season two is already shot. All eyes are on Disney because this guy in March was arrested for alleged a the a word in New York City. All people jumped on this and were like, what? What happened? A lot of people weren't believing it, but Jonathan's own team was very quick to say, oh, we are going to prove this guy is innocent. In fact, even here, I was I I, I bought it. On May, March 25th, the, the, the lawyer for Jonathan said he's completely innocent and probably the victim of an altercation with a woman he knows. Probably was a weird word. We are quickly gathering and presenting evidence to the DA with the expectation that all charges will be dropped imminently. Uh, we have video evidence of the footage, uh, you know, video footage from the vehicle where this episode took place, witness testimony from the driver and others who both saw and heard the episode, and most importantly, two written statements from the woman recanting these allegations. The woman, Chandra Ledge, was having an emotional crisis for which she was taken to the hospital yesterday. We expect these charges to be dropped soon. So when we saw that, we all were like, oh, well, all right, let's wait to hear, as we should in any case. And let's be clear, I'm not accusing Jonathan of anything Due process all the way. The dude is innocent until proven guilty. However, in Hollywood, that's not how this always works. In fact, ha, you know, he has been losing gigs left and right because of these allegations. Uh, and now all eyes are on Marvel to see, well, what's going to happen? Jonathan's legal team has been very vocal in saying he's innocent, and we've been waiting for that evidence. The first evidence they dropped wasn't even the videos. It was text messages. And these text messages that came out if I'm being honest, only added more confusion to me. When you read the text, it really does read like a woman who maybe has, you know, Stockholm syndrome, who's very scared. We'll make sure nothing happens about this. I told them it was my fault for trying to grab your phone. So he's, he's allowed to do it. If you, if he grabs your phone, huge red flag for me there. Wait, what? Okay. I also said to tell the judge to know that the origin of the call was due to me with, with me collapsing and passing out. And your worry as my partner due to our communication prior out of care. She promised all will be relayed. Now that last part there. So she collapsed and passed out. Why? In front of him? Not in front of him? The whole thing just became fishier. So it was just like, well, what's actually going on? As that was then trying to clear his name, Jonathan's uh, issues did worsen as the DA apparently is now revealing that they're working with more alleged victims who are cooperating with them saying that, yeah, he, there's more to it. Uh, his management firm also cut ties with him. You know, you got, I got, I got to focus on this for a second. Imagine having a manager a PR person in Hollywood, your fixer, your Olivia Pope, your, you know, the, the person who does this for a living, who has all the access in Hollywood to stop these types of things. And that person would know more than any of us, right? They're going to know what's coming. They're going to make sure they get all the information. They're going to start prepping a plan of action Imagine that team has all that information, all the resources, knows how much money this client's worth, all that Marvel money, and their action is to jump ship. Not a good look. Not a good look. It's a huge red flag, and it's why a lot of us started pausing as we're like, wait a second, the lawyer says there's stuff coming, but then why are all these management firms not, you know, doubling down on his innocence knowing, well, yeah, we have all this. It didn't happen. Something is off here, and that's the problem here. I, I don't know what happened, but I know red flags when I see them, and this story isn't holding weight. So, yeah, they're alleging that even more people are coming forward. They also say that it's even crazier for Disney because the person, uh, even here, it's read like a bad Lifetime movie, those texts. It looks like textbook abus woman said one person who was working with majors on an upcoming, upcoming project. So there's someone who was working with majors who read the text and was like, ooh, bro, that's not a good look. 
But where it gets even worse is they reveal that the person involved, the alleged victim in the Manhattan incident, also worked on Ant-Man and the Wasp. A crew member, an assistant, I, I don't know who, but not some random stranger, someone who was actually involved in the film. That's going to make things even more complicated for Disney, hence why I'm saying Disney's in trouble. They're in trouble because they either got to jump to conclusions and cancel this guy because they have so much invested in him, or they got to just wait it out and then get the wrath of people who are saying, well, why... Why'd you get rid of Johnny and not him? What's going on? Like it's it's they are they are in a pickle to say the least. I will give them credit. They haven't done anything yet. I'll react when I see how they react eventually. But man, don't want to be in Disney shoes right now because they have a lot of pressure. This guy, it's hard to really explain if you don't watch the Marvel films. The this guy was they bet on him big time. And literally at the end of the last movie, they reveal that every version of this bad guy is still played by him. Like that makes no sense. There's a million different Spider-Man actors, but no one Kang it doesn't make any sense. So they've, they've really believed in this guy and they hoped he would be the new future. So where does Jonathan and his team stand on all this? Now that we have, you have the whole rundown of where we stand as of now. Well, they claim that the video and the witnesses will prove it. And they revealed screenshots from this video. And I got to say, this isn't helping me either. It's not helping me either. Now, again, I'm confused because when you get the full version of events, which you're about to get from Jonathan's side, it does sound like, you know, according to him, this woman was starting trouble, was was the, the instigator crazily harassing him. If that's all true and then he showed up to his house, passed out, which is what he's alleging. Well, then, yeah, I feel bad for this guy because it sounds like he didn't do anything. But I want you to read through it and I want you to make up your own mind. So let's see. This is what Jonathan's story is. And then I want you to compare it to all the things we just read. And you tell me whose side you're on for now. Uh, I know we're all due process, innocent until proven guilty. But where are you leaning based on the evidence that we're starting to get slowly here? So Jonathan's attorney filed documents on Wednesday informing the court uh, that the driver witnessed what went down between Jonathan and the woman back in March. Uh, the driver saw the woman while she was attempting to steal his phone. Uh, the driver will testify that he never saw, you know, Jonathan do anything to them in that way at all. Not even raise his voice. Majors and his attorneys also say the driver saw her doing those things to Jonathan and that Jonathan asked the driver to stop the car so he could escape her attack, which he did. I got to be honest. It's kind of insane that this video hasn't been leaked yet. If this is true, I'm going to set that narrative out. Where is it? Now you're starting to release screenshots of other things, but not that. I only imagine it's a matter of time until that clip does come out, if it's true, but there's still a wrinkle there because that's not their last time they were together. So was that really the only incident is now where my questions ask. She says that they have hours of security videos showing the woman went clubbing and got drunk after Majors left her in the car. She also texted him, accusing him of infidelity and threatening unalivement. As for what happened while she was out at the nightclub, Major's court filing includes screenshots of security video showing the woman freely using her right hand, which she claimed Major's injured. Uh, it's covered up, though, and, I, and they said minor injuries, so I'm still like, does this really prove anything? And the reason I say that is because, yes, as they're showing that she's using this, and it's, it, this is all part of the evidence. The video says she casually pushes her hair behind her right ear, reaches into her bag, sorts through credit cards. I mean, nothing really strenuous. Holds a menu, easily holds a glass of champagne. Uh, they say she was seen partying pretty hard, throwing back shots and champagne with friends without any visible signs of injury. Okay, that doesn't mean he didn't, you know, that's my problem here. This doesn't prove innocence yet to me when he was out at the club it was over they claimed she showed up at major's home at 323 entering his apartment so she had access to his this wasn't like a stranger she entered his apartment called 32 times and sent an angry jealous text message majors was not home when she got there chaudry said none of the text messages accuse him of injuring her nor does she mention any discomfort from them it doesn't mean it didn't happen uh, they say Majors got home at 11 a.m. and found her unconscious on the floor of his walk-in closet. He also discovered she allegedly threw up in his bed. Majors then called 911 and claimed when paramedics arrived, the woman repeatedly told them, I don't know when asked what happened to her. In the document, he claims body cam footage shows police interviewing the woman and clearly coaching her. Why would they do that? I'm confused. Uh, so again, more footage to come out that we'll have to decipher if this does indeed come out. I imagine at some point it will. 
So they're saying this was coached and the police were in on it. I, okay. TMZ broke the story. He was arrested and charged. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we know all this. So they're saying this is going to prove. But my, here now my problem is this. So I thought the episode and the incident was in the cab. It was in your home. Her words in her own texts. For now breaking it down. They know it all happened because of me collapsing and passing out and your worry. To me, when I read this, that seems like it's in his presence. Am I crazy? So now there's a whole window here of well, what happened at the house. Now, look, I'm not saying he did anything at the house, but you're claiming, I, I, you know, you're, these headlines are out there. The, the, the narrative proves I didn't do it. But it doesn't. It proves that you didn't do it maybe in that instance, but it doesn't prove it in the other thing. All of this, the problem I'm having is like, it's very clear how his team, and I don't think they're doing a very good job, mind you, they're just trying to muddy the waters and confuse everybody to hopefully just try to be like, Jedi mind trick, nothing happened. When it does seem like something might've happened here. Now, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, but all I gotta say is based on the stuff they keep giving me, it's not proving he's exonerated or innocent. It's only making me ask more questions. Uh, I have a lot of questions and I feel like we need to have some answers. And I hope Marvel does the right thing and waits till more of these answers are, you know, answered before we do anything. All eyes on Marvel. What should they do? I mean, I, honestly, I'm I'm impressed. Disney's pretty quick at trying to cut people off if there's even a stench of something wrong and they're still waiting. Uh, how long are they going to wait? What are your predictions? I want to hear them down in the comments below. If you want to hear more about this story and how we keep going, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for alerts, smash that like button, and uh, leave a comment down below and answer the question. Does this actually, the, do you think this video evidence proves he's innocent? What are your thoughts? I want to hear them down below. We'll be live later discussing this and so much more. I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching here on Popcorn Planet.